Hello everyone, we will move on to the lesson 4, Special Products. The learning objectives of this lesson are Multiply binomials by applying the pattern form by Square of sums, sums relates to positive plus And multiply binomials of, by applying the pattern form by Square of differences minus Square of sums means a plus b the whole square and this means it's a minus b the whole square. These identities are what we will learn about. We will look into the uh, square of sum now, the first formula. It's basically this, a plus b the whole square. Now you can split it out into two binomials, that is you can split this, it's two times, right? a plus b, a plus b. All you need to do is multiply. Imagine you are 2 to the power 2, that is 2 multiplied by 2. That's what is done over here, a plus b the whole square, a plus b, a plus b. Now you can use distributive property of FOIL, uh, FOIL method, a squared, and okay, now the thing is, you can do the distributive property over here. Let me just do it. A times A will be A squared. A times B is plus AB. Again, it will be BA or I can write it as AB. And lastly, it is B squared. And this will be dissolved to 2A because it's AB, AB. A, when you add two times, it will be 2AB. A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. So this is what happens. Now, you don't need to multiply each and every time when the terms are same. You can just use this formula for simplicity sake. So that is what we will do over here. Now, if you look into this problem, you don't need to multiply everything again and again. Just remember this formula. It is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. That means this term 1, it is x squared. This term will be x squared as it is now you this middle term is two times a that is x and the first term is a and the second term is three two times three is six x that's why we get this term and lastly the last term is squared that is nine three squared is nine now we will solve problems on this you can write it in detail or if you just remember the formula a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This is very important because it will come in uh, higher grades as well as you move on 11th grade, 12th grade. So now the first term is x over here will be x squared plus 2. Always you can skip a step by just writing it directly. What do you do is you know it, this is x. So that will remain. It will be nothing. There's no other variable. So x alone, 6 multiplied by 2 is 12. So I'll write directly 12x plus 6 squared is 36. This will be your answer. So this is the answer. You, you need to square this 2 times ab. This is in detail. And finally, you will get the same answer. So it's up to you. You can directly write it or you can write it in steps. So next over here, same thing. What you can do is you can try pausing the video and watch it, uh, I mean, solve it by yourself and then watch the video. So I hope at least few of you tried pausing the video and solving it, or at least you just, you know, did it in your mind looking at this. Now let us do, I'll just erase this. I will do it directly and then I'll show you the steps. Over here, the first term is A is in terms of 3 and G. So square that. This will be squared and this will be squared. That's multiplication. So you have to individually square both. You will get 9g squared plus 2 times. It will become 2 times 3g. There are many terms. So that's why I'm just writing it. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 10 is 60. The numbers become 60. And g and h will be multiplied to each other. Plus last term will be 10 squared is 100 and h squared is h squared. So this would be the final answer. You can see the steps are over here. 9g squared plus 60gh plus 100h squared. That is how you solve it up. Um, this is over here. Now MCQs. You need to solve, you need to expand this by square of a sum and then choose the correct answer. You can try this quickly. Pause the video and try to get the answer. I hope you tried, uh, you know, at least you tried solving it. 
Now I will tell you, you don't need to, you know, uh, I, I think so you can easily eliminate few options. Now, just look at the first term, 2x, that is going to be 4x squared. So this is wrong, this is wrong, either this or this. Now the next term, you have to multiply two times uh, these two and another two. It will be 2 into 2 into 9. See, 2ab, the middle term is 2ab. A is having this 2, 9 is over here and 2ab, 2 is a constant as well. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 9, 4 is 36. So over here, this is the correct answer. This is wrong. You're remaining with the last one. So that's how we can easily find it. That's the option number D. And now under the problem, please do a try it by yourselves. Just like the method we did, we can easily eliminate a few of the options. Now, when you're squaring this, it's not going to be 6. It's not going to be 12. And then multiply these both. It'll be 66 multiplied by 2. It's not 66. Don't get confused. Don't think 6 times 11 is 66. No, it must be. 66 times 2, that is 132. That is your correct answer. Again, it's D. Now we go to a real world problem using some of uh, square of sums. A Punnett squared, a Punnett squared is basically, you know, if you're if you have animals, say dogs, and you breed different types of dogs, the squared is used. That this may not be restricted to two in this case because it's sum of squares, it's just over here in terms of a plus b but in reality it will be various different species as well you can add another mixture say b and like this and it can go big you know and it can be like this you can get different type of uh, breeds you know you can get a table uh, to predict the different type of breeds so let's see this a punnett square is used to predict the probability of offspring inheriting certain genetic characteristics. In Doberman, Pinscher's black fur B is dominant over the recessive gene for brown fur B. If two parents have both a dominant and a recessive gene, use the square of a sum to determine the possible combinations of the offspring. It might be very confusing, but see, they're just trying to tell you this is both the parents you need to use the sum of squares and find the uh, combination of the offspring that means you have to just square this up that's it okay uh, in reality this might be very complex but now for your um, topic it's very very simple just these are the two different uh, genes right b plus b you need to use the sum of squares square them you know the formula is a square plus 2ab plus b squared all you're doing is use these it'll be capital b squared plus two times capital b small b the capital b is for black and the small uh, small letter is for brown and then you have this this would be your answer that's a very simple and straightforward all you need to do is use the formula Similarly over here, let's read this problem. Surface area. The surface area of a cube is given by A equals 6x squared, where S is the length of one side. Okay, S is the uh, side length, okay? Uh, one of the side length. Select the expression that represents the surface area of a cube with the side length. Okay, you need to use this as side length. See, the given area is A equals 6x squared. Now, here S is the side length. They don't want this S. You, you need to substitute this one away. Instead of that S, you need to substitute 3N plus 6, the whole square, and then find the area. What expression is the answer? So you can see 6 is outside, so you don't need to multiply the 6 even after you know using the formula. Just leave it like this. Just sp sub uh, split this out. I mean, use the formula and expl expand this out. It'll be 3 squared is 9, n squared is n. Now, when you look at this as eliminated, there are 2 over here. Plus 2 times 2ab, 2 times 3 times 6. 6, 3 is 18, 18, 3 is 18, 2 is 36. So, let's see, 6, 36, n. This is eliminated. This is your correct answer option C. And last one will be plus 36. So, it's all multiplied with it's all multiplied with 6. So option C is the correct answer. Very straightforward problem. Now we did about sum of uh, square of sums. 
Now we will do of differences. That means it's same, same thing. It's just that you have minus over here instead of 2AB. Now, if you're thinking, why no minus over here? Let's do the distributive property. Multiply these two. It will be A squared. And then multiply this and this will be AB but negative sign. Same way again, these both will be minus BA or you can write it as AB. And lastly, minus minus becomes plus B squared. Simplify this, it will be A squared. This can be written as AB. So it is AB minus AB. That will be minus 2 times AB plus B squared. So only the middle term, that minus 2AB will have negative sign. This is a simple problem. Now, we here they have done the distributive property. No, they have just used the formula and done. You can see it is x minus 8, the whole square. The same term is multiplied twice. So the first term will be squared minus 2 times this and this. 2 times x into 8. That will be 16x minus 16x. And last term will be 64. You must be very careful with this negative sign because that is the difference. And the, if you are plus, it be sums. We will look into this problem now. You can try this by yourselves. If you find any of these problems which you know, just pause the video, do it by yourself, and then continue the video. Or you can just jump forward. Now, we hear this problem. You need to square the first term minus 2 times the first term 7d and 2f plus last term squared 2f the whole squared. Now, you don't need to write all this. You can directly solve it. From here only, you can 7 squared is 49d squared minus 7 times 2 is 14. 14 times 2 is 28df plus 2f is 4 f squared so this is the final answer 49d squared now okay look at the major mistake that i have done i forgot about i uh, know this is correct okay now okay this seems to be wrong over here it has to be minus itself no whatever whatever the answer is over here is right this in fact is wrong you can see it should be minus it's 49d squared minus 28 okay this is minus 28 df plus 4f squared as you can see here in the above above line it's 7d the whole squared minus See, there is a bit of printing error. Maybe this two bottom line is extended or something. It's 49d squared and it's minus. This is not plus. It's minus 28df plus f 4f squared. This is the answer. If it was plus, then it would be sum. It's not plus. It's minus. So that's it. And one more thing. Don't be confused. When you're considering A, this itself is A. And when you're considering B, this only is B. Don't see them. Don't take the negative sign along with 2F. 2F is just as it is. This minus would, would be in the formula already applied. So just consider the first terms as A, uh, 2F as B. If it is plus, use the sum formula. If it is minus, use the difference formula. You can see A is 7D, B is 2F. Same thing over here. You can pause and try it by yourself. Now, first of all, whenever you have 4f, this won't be same 4. Why? Because it will be squared. It should be 16. 4 squared is 16. k squared is uh, k, is k into squared. k squared. Minus 2 times ab. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8k. Now, which, ha which is having minus 8k? Only this. This and this is wrong. So you don't need to bother about the last term. It's just one, but still this is the answer. It's minus, okay? Now we have last one over here. This is another very handy formula. What if you have a plus b, a minus b? Multiply, a times a is a squared, a times, uh, a times minus b is minus ab, b times a is plus ab, and b times minus b is minus b squared. Minus 1 plus 1, this cancels your remaining with a squared minus b squared. So please remember this. It can be interchanged. If you have terms a squared minus b squared, you can write it, split it out as 
a plus b a minus b which we will do in the future grades and also if you have a plus b a minus b you want to simplify it it can be written as a square minus b square and solved so you can see over here x plus 6 x minus 6 would be x square minus 6 times 6 is 36 you should square this not times but it's the same thing you know so it will be minus 36 so over here it's very very easy z squared minus 5 squared don't think okay plus and minus what no you should always write minus a is only z b is only 5 don't take the uh, signs it's both positive so it's z squared minus 5 squared uh, oh now over here this is correct but you, this is a number, isn't it? So z squared minus 5 squared is 25. So this will be your final answer. z squared minus 25. Please do try this. Remember, these two terms must be same. Otherwise, it is not correct. So it is 3y cubed, the whole squared minus 4 squared. Now, you need to square this. 3 times 3 will be 9. Y, see, now you're squaring, okay? Now you're not if it was y to the power 3, y to the power 2, we add the exponents, it would have been y to the power 5. But now it's powering. Whenever you are, uh, you know, one variable to the power 3, you're powering, squaring again, it'll be multiplication. Always remember that 3 times 2 is 6. Only when you have two separate variables, then you add the power, otherwise, in such instances which we have in this problem it is by multiplying and now we have negative 4 squared is 16 and that's the answer it will be 9y squared minus 16 I hope it is clear the steps are over here you can go through them uh, again it's the same problems okay we need to find the product for each it will be x squared the whole square minus 3y the whole square it will become x to, 2 times 2 is 4 and 9y squared that will be your first answer this is it and now please do try solving the others because they are very very straightforward they are very simple you can see this will be 4 okay I'm, I'm trying to write directly let's write it in this step because if you directly jump to answer it might be a bit confusing like this okay because you may not square on everywhere so it is 2x over here a squared minus 9y squared is b squared so it'll be 4x squared minus 81y to the power 4 2 times 2 is 4 and that's the answer these two are very easy it'll be just x squared minus 81y squared and last one is very very simple x squared minus 81 these are the answers for this problems and that's it so it's another short video a short uh, lesson just four example problems just the three formulas please memorize the formulas by heart them you can understand it easily you do not need to exactly by heart it understand how it works when you look at the problems like when you look at say a plus b whole squared you must analyze it and then get the formula from your mind so don't just uh, you know memorize it or by heart it try to understand it and then keep it in mind so you it'll come for a long time you know and th these are very important it, you need to know this otherwise you cannot solve the problems so please make sure you uh, keep these in your mind all the formulas uh, differences of sorry squares of sum squares of differences and lastly this one a plus b a minus b so if you just remember the formulas it's more than enough so that's it um, i hope you have learned something new please do stay tuned for the next video which will be coming out shortly take care guys